Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. And it reads, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Here we have the Apostle Peter answering the question, answering the naysayers, answering those that would... Uh, would uh, smirk and uh, criticize the coming, the second coming of Christ, saying that there is no second coming of Christ and saying that everything is the same as it always has been, that there has been no kind of catastrophic uh, events that happen upon the face of the earth since the beginning of time. And so he answers this question, uh, why has Christ not returned? It is simply because God loves us. God loves all of mankind and his desire is for all to repent, to come to a point of repentance and be saved. So God is not slack concerning his promise, nor is he powerless to return and to judge the earth as he has said. As scripture says, he calls the readers to look back at scriptures, to look back at the prophets, to look back at the Old Testament. Again and again, we see how uh, the word of God reminds us uh, how the world and the uh, Wickedness shall be judged at the return of Christ. Psalms 50 tells us that. Isaiah tells us that. We read it in Daniel chapter 7 and throughout all of the different prophets of the Old Testament. And then again, we find it throughout the Old, I mean, the New Testament for sure. Out of the 27 books of the New Testament, we'll find um, the message of the judgment of the return of Christ in 23 of those books. So clearly, Scripture says that the Lord shall return, that he shall judge uh, the living and the dead, and that he shall establish his rule and reign forever and forever. So he is not slack concerning slackness as we count slackness. And, and Peter uh, tells him, reminds him that, listen, in comparison to eternity, a thousand a day uh, is as a thousand years and a thousand years as is a day. I mean, what is time? in comparison to God who is lives in the space of eternity. And note that he points out three significant points here, that God is long-suffering. That is that God, uh, he's patient with us, that he, that he suffers long with, with us. Very simply put, that God is slow to give in and to judge and to condemn us because his desire is for us to be saved. Even though we reject him, even though we refuse him, even though we rebelled against him, that's the very reason that he sent his son into this world. He sent his son, gave us his son, that we would have a second chance. God, notice again, that God wants no one to perish. That is to be utterly lost, to be utterly separated, to be uh, separated from him forever and ever. He doesn't want that. The point is clear that God does not want us to perish, but rather he wants us to spend eternity with him. His desire is is for all men to come to a knowledge of the truth and be saved. And so finally, that he points out here is that he wants everyone to come to a point of repentance. Repentance is two, where you make two turns. One, you turn from your wicked ways, turn from sin, and you turn to God. And I pray that this verse would be a word of encouragement to you today as you meditate upon this verse as you go throughout this day. I pray that you would have a wonderful, wonderful day. Be safe out there. And then tune in again tomorrow as we consider today's verse. Amen.